Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Akansha Matthews and uh, welcome back to yet another series of the Matthews Things shopping haul. Um, just to inform you guys, I went to DLF Mall of India today to meet few of my office friends after a really really long time. After two years, I've been uh, I've got a chance to meet them and I had great fun with them. Um, I'm sure you guys, if you haven't caught up with your friends yet. Please do, please hang out. It's It's been a really, really uh, gloomy and aloof time uh, in the lockdown. So uh, please do meet your friends, your relatives, uh, if, whenever you get a chance. And I'm sure you won't regret it. You'll have great fun. Uh, I sure did. So uh, I've got a bag full of goodies and another bag full of the goodies I bought for myself. And I'm going to show you quickly uh, what all I bought. So first up, um, I went to our dear old local friendly store, the mini. So that is, uh, I got a perfume from there. This is the Ariel Free of Prejudice perfume. This is 30 ml bottle and it was for 360 rupees. That is, um, let me check if it has the notes. Uh, Mm -hmm. It doesn't have the notes in it, but it's it's the floral scent and uh, It's a very good scent and if you do go to Minnesota do try their perfume range It is a very good option for the daily wear perfumes. They cost between 200 to um, 350 450 very economic for daily use uh, If you don't want to wear high-end perfumes on a daily basis You can definitely go ahead and check the Minnesota perfume collections. They smell really really good and they do last uh, slightly long not too long but they do they do last slightly longer than the usual ones and they are very very economic as miniso is famous for its very pocket friendly range of products so yes uh, it doesn't fail you there uh, up next i got a hairbrush from miniso again it's a um, mint green on a turquoise hairbrush a normal hairbrush i usually buy my hairbrushes from miniso because they keep updating their uh you know hairbrush collections and they come up with really cute colors really cute designs so i got this from uh, miniso as well this is what my fourth or fifth brush from miniso i change hairbrushes um uh, not that often two months or three months uh so yeah this this is a good option this costed me round yeah uh, yeah this is for 190 rupees again which is quite pocket friendly um as you compare to other brands i mean in nika there is a hairbrush brand they're pretty costly though i don't quite understand um, the hype why they're so costly i'm sure there must be great quality brushes as well um next up uh, i have I went to store 99 uh, I got from there let's have a look two candles that is uh, the store 99 you can find in any uh, good malls uh, you have one uh, I think you have one in Pacific Mall in West Delhi uh, you, I found one in the real Noida mall and I'm sure there are, they do have their outlets in every mall basically you probably will be finding those uh, store 99 shops in the lower basement that is if you're wondering what is this um, noise is about it is basically in the cap of the candle so I got this um, if I, if you can, I don't know if you can see or not um, yeah so this is the um, this is from store 99 I bought two candles first was uh, vanilla fragranced um, hand poured candle this the company's name is one casa and uh, this is what this costed me for 129 uh, 129 rupees uh sorry i was gonna say pounds because i work uh, usually i deal uh, with um my work and they deal in pounds so hence the pound word nevertheless this is 129 rupees this is a single wick candle it smells very fruity um yeah, more fruity than vanilla but yeah i think this is this is my kind of fragrance so I'm, I'm happy with it and i hope it does uh give a good burn and it does give a good fragrance uh which is uh my great issues with candles 
when I buy candles from such places, they don't give me a good uh, fragrance, good aroma. Um, uh, once I burn them, a uh, Bath and Body Works uh, one was good. Shalom candle that I bought from Amazon was really really good. Um, and I'm keeping my fingers crossed for these as well. The second candle I bought from Store Ninety Nine was the one Casa Rose highly fragranced hand poured candle. Um, again, this costed me for hundred and twenty nine uh, rupees. This smells. This this really smells like rose, and I'm really really hoping that it uh, when I burn it, it actually um, my room starts to smell like rose at least for some time. That's all. I'm keeping my fingers crossed as said. Uh, both these candles are for 135 grams each. So this is what I bought. And uh, I got to, to go to this Japanese store uh, which is uh, Muji. Muji. Yeah, Muji in DLF Mall of uh, India. It is a great store by the way guys. Uh, in short if I have to explain you it is the mini store of Japan and the quality of the products oh my god it's way 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 better than uh, miniso um, they have clothes they have uh, hair products skin care shampoos uh, they have notebooks pens uh, bed sheets curtains uh, and you know cutleries they have all sorts of crockery items as well so you can definitely go ahead and check the if you if you are in and around noida you can definitely visit dlf mall if you do get a chance dlf mall of india and you can definitely visit the um store muji it's on first floor and it's a japanese um kind of a mini so version uh well i got uh, it is also quite economic at least the products i bought which i think were worth the price when i checked the quality i basically bought two of these notebooks uh one is in slightly bigger size here and the other one is slightly smaller one uh, the quality of these papers they are butter they are pure butter they are so so smooth I mean if you go and see for yourself you'll definitely know what I'm talking about guys it is so smooth and I fell in love with these uh, the, the quality of the paper and, and the notebook itself it's quite sturdy and it's co it's just a cardboard but it's very simplistic in its approach it's very simplistic in, the, in its approach uh these the smaller notebook costed me um let's have a look oh uh, yeah this one costed me 100 rupees this is 48 pages a uh 7 mm a5 pages yep uh, this is a double wire notebook and again this is uh, the bigger version of this double wire a5 pages notebook it also has 78 uh, pages or sheets and uh, this one costed me 110 rupees so there is not much difference uh, guys see i mean see in the size there is a lot of difference as you can see here uh, this is the bigger one this is the smaller one but in the price it was just a matter of 10 bucks so i got these two notebooks and these are really good again the paper quality is brilliant please please go buy some stationery from them if you, if you have to or other products i'm sure you won't uh, regret it people are buying their pants sweaters bed sheets from there so um, um, i can vouch for that that it is a brilliant brilliant shop uh then uh, uh, um lastly i went to a uh, om bookshop i found an outlet while i was uh, returning um, on my way home while well, i was exiting basically uh, the dlf mall of india i found an outlet of om bookshop and uh, they have the, the bag is quite good they have all sorts of historical figures historical uh, pictures of the people uh, who made a name in the history they have nehru they have I think Shakespeare of their Gandhi, Abraham Lincoln, I, th I think that is. Yeah, so they have all these pictures which of course uh, depict a lot of intellectual uh, minds. So yeah, I bought two books from there. I, I'm really into, I, I do love fiction guys, but uh, more than that, um, I'm really, really into spy stories, especially the real ones. I keep watching YouTube videos of the same. And uh, so I got two books. Uh, first one is the Mossad, international bestseller Mossad, the greatest missions of of the Israeli secret services. This uh, the author of this book is Michael Bar Zuhar, 
and the Nissin Misha. This um, costed me 399 rupees. Good deal, guys. This is this is a quite a, a big book, as you can see. Not a not a small one, and in size also. That this is what the book looks like. And I'm looking forward to get to know a lot of interesting, interesting, and um, interesting stories about the Israeli intelligence agency that is Mossad. Um, I'm looking forward to read a lot of great spy stories. As we know, they they are one, they are the best uh, in terms of intelligence. And not to forget, so is our raw. I love raw. Uh, so yes, I had to buy this. This is the Spy Chronicles Raw and the um, Illusion of and the ISI Illusion of Peace. The authors for this is A. S. Dalit Azad Durrani Aditya Sinha. It says it's a unique book, compulsory reading for all those who have peace between India and Pakistan at heart. From the forward, uh, from the forward by Dr. Farooq Abdullah. Uh, now this was a number one bestseller. Um, this is for five ninety nine. This is about politics and government, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to read this one as well. It will, I'm sure, have some interesting facts, some interesting stories to go about, uh, and um, inspired from real uh, events as well. This is also quite a big, uh, huge book. Among this book, this is oh, they have some pictures as well in between. I just saw some pictures. Yeah. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. Uh, so that was the haul. That was the short haul, guys. Uh, from E3 items I got from Cinnabon. That is, it says life needs frosting. And I got some mini Cinnabons from them. The classic Cinnabons. And uh, the Choco Monobons as well. Uh, so if you are at Cinnabons, you get a box of four Cinnabons of... Uh, I think 265 that was and then you can also choose between either you would like to have or the variety of the same ones same four cinnabons or you would like to mix it up I got it mix it up I got a recommendation for cinnabons from my friend uh, so I'm really really looking forward to have a bite of those after this video that is also guys um, if you do if you have watched my last video or if you do follow me on instagram or facebook or if you know me personally uh you guys are aware of the fact that i went to uh pakistan uh tour i actually visited the kartarpur corridor i visited uh the kartarpur sahib gurdwara uh there for for a day i was in pakistan i bought some sweets from there and I bought a bought a cloth material from there as well. And I would really, really like to share my experience about the travel, uh, how you can travel, how you can, uh, you know, uh, get immigrations and uh, how you can get all the formalities done in order for you to visit Pakistan for a day. Uh, I'll definitely make a detailed video about that. If I get time, probably right now after this one or maybe in a day or two, I will also add pictures, videos that I've taken there. I'll share stories about my tour how i got to meet not just pakistanis over there i got to meet a lot of indians over there i got to hear a lot of stories from there um, it was a great experience really really tiring but really really um fun experience i had probably i'll make a video tomorrow for that so you guys please uh do check out that video as well as for this video please like share and subscribe guys i hope uh you enjoyed the uh, mini haul from uh I mean these mini so kind of stones um so yeah uh one more thing guys if you do visit the dlf mall of india and if you do are on the lower ground floor there are so many shops from various countries there is one from tokyo there is one mini so there is uniqlo there is uh one um i think more a store from mauritius or from malaysia it was by the name wk live london that is also a good store uh, then there is of course muji on first floor you can definitely check it out um it, it, there are so and there is there is store 99 of course you'll get great great stuff over there on store 99 uh right so the things that you get in home center minus the furniture decor items or the bed sheets or or such things of course you can if you're on a budget you can definitely check out store 99 guys i'm sure you'll like it uh all right guys that was it for the video and um also i just wanted to share a quick good news guys uh on 16th uh, my best friend had a baby boy uh, she's she's well settled uh in bangalore and 
two days later, that is on the 18th, uh, my uh, brother, my cousin had uh, a baby boy. So within 42 hours, I became a Masi and one. I'm so, so, so filled with joy. It's overflowing. I'm overjoyed. I'm overwhelmed that, uh, you know, that that was the coolest thing that happened to me within these 48 hours. And of course, today I got to meet my friends after a really, really long time. We had great fun. Uh, thank you guys. You take care of yourself. I'll look forward to speaking with you in another video. And please do follow me on Instagram. I go by the name The Matthews Thing. Or you can search by my name Akanksha Matthews. You can pick the spellings up from my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Facebook. Um, I am by the name Akanksha Matthews only. And um, that's about it guys. Take care of yourself. Be safe. Stay healthy, stay happy. Lots of love. Bye.